Hi guys, it's me again. I'm going to bring y'all kind of a little bonus type recipe for today. Um, in my pan here on the stove, this one, I have a little bit of just regular pure vegetable oil heating up. Um, I have already gone ahead and chopped up a few things here on my cutting board. I've got celery, onions, carrots, and one small sweet potato, not a large one. Um, now, if you have the large ones or you have a large family, you're going to need more than one, more than likely. I am making a acorn squash soup instead of a butternut squash soup. I know most people have heard of like a butternut squash soup. Um, I'm doing it with acorn squash because... Um, I did have some I needed to use. Um, also, here's the acorn squash. It has already been cooked and, or at least baked so the skins would come off and that kind of thing. Um, I'm actually going to just kind of pull some little chunks into here and it'll go in there and kind of get warmed up with the rest of the vegetables. Um, I will put some garlic in here in a minute. I just forgot to grab it out. But I will, I'm getting ready to grab it out here in just a second. And add some in for y'all. Um, but I thought this is a great fall slash winter recipe. Um, once these vegetables get cooked down. I do have some turkey stock that I'm going to be adding to this to give it a little flavor. Um, so that, you know, we've got some good stock and broth and flavors. I'll also add some whole thyme leaves, some sage, um, some rosemary, some salt, and some pepper. Just traditional, um, fall type flavors, things that people would normally have, um, at the holidays, things that people like this time of year, um, or might have around um, so a lot of y'all um, you know probably have this kind of stuff around at least in the fall season here in the US I don't know how it is in other countries I've never been outside of the States I'm three at less than three hours from Canada never been not even been to Niagara y'all <sighs> that's hard to believe but it is the truth never even been to Niagara Falls so, I've got us a bit of butter, or not butternut, but acorn squash down in here. I'm going to just grab this last piece, and I'm going to put the rest of that up. That will be going into, um, like, an acorn squash bake for tomorrow, which is Thanksgiving here in the U.S. So, definitely, definitely want to have some of this stuff left over. Uh, our sweet husband actually requested some uh, fall squash. So that is going to be what he's getting. I'm putting some garlic down in here to go with my other vegetables and that kind of thing. This is not going to be one of those um, extravagant soups that... Um, you know, a lot of times people are like, I, they're con for all these things that I can't find or I can't afford. They're just way too expensive. Um, my ground sage came from Dollar General last year on sale after Christmas for 75 cents. Buying it in advance and just putting it up. I mean, I use it throughout the year anyway. So, it's just a... Uh, thing that I would normally keep around anyway. Um, this stuff is going to cook down until it gets good and cooked and soft and that kind of stuff. Um, I'll bring you back at the point where it gets good and soft um, so that y'all can see what that looks like. Hey guys, I'm back. Um, I took just a couple minutes to start getting like the celery and the onions and stuff. The onions are starting to get 
translucent, that means they are cooked for obviously the carrots and the potato is not going to be cooked as quickly as the onions. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and start stewing them. This is turkey stock from, obviously from the, the store. Um, so I'm going to use that because I need part of it tomorrow anyway. And yes, I do buy extra at the holiday, y'all. I have to have extra stock at holidays for gravies and what have you. Um, so, um, I'll order, or I have people pick up or whatever for me the few things that I need. Now, I've got enough liquid in there for a few minutes. Um, hopefully that will be enough to cook everything down and get everything simmered down um, very nicely and cook down so that everything is all um, smelling and tasting good. It's actually already really smelling good. Um, I'm going to go ahead at this point and add in some sage. Some salt. I, can, I don't like having it in this container, but the salt, actual salt shaker um, broke here a few weeks ago. And I haven't been gro going grocery or shopping in stores very much and um, this is actually thyme leaves the whole leaf I'm adding just a very few of those in there I prefer more sage but um, in mine that's just me um, this is ground rosemary we can get some of these spices kind of bulk style so to speak at some of our local Mennonite and um, Amish markets, which I actually really, really love, um, because it makes, makes it so much easier to go ahead and buy, you know, instead of buying those small shakers, like I showed you my sage was in, go ahead and buy a bigger thing, um, that thing of rosemary only cost me a buck, and it was real, it's pretty dang cool when I got it, so, um, and I've added more to it since then, but, you know, I just keep it, um, like that. Now, that broth is already starting to smell really, really, really good, folks. Um, it smells like fall. It smells like comfort food. When this gets where everything is completely cooked through, I'll be back with this. All right, guys, I'm back. I have got all my vegetables good and cooked. They are.